this module, we will look closely at the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, otherwise known as the UNCRPD. Based on our understanding of mental health, which we have just discussed, it is clear that if we want to improve the lives of people with mental health problems, and if we want to have better prevention of mental health issues, we need a different kind of approach, which deals directly with the social determinants of mental health and the lived experiences of people. This is called the psychosocial approach, which is underpinned by the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. The UNCRPD is an international human rights treaty aimed to protect the rights and dignity of persons with disabilities. It was adopted by the United Nations General Assembly in 2006, and it entered into force in 2008. The UNCRPD recognises that persons with disabilities, including those with mental health conditions, have the same human rights as everyone else and should be able to enjoy those rights on an equal basis with others. The UNCRPD is based on principles of non-discrimination, equality and inclusion. It outlines a comprehensive set of rights and freedoms for persons with disabilities and obliges state parties to take measures to ensure that these rights are fully realised. For example, Article 25 addresses the right to health and recognises the rights of persons with disabilities when it comes to the enjoyment of the highest attainable standard of health without discrimination. It includes the provisions of health services, including those related to mental health. To see videos explaining some of these key principles and provisions of the UNCRPD relevant to mental health, please check out the link in the description. In the context of mental health, the UNCRPD is particularly relevant because it challenges traditional approaches that may infringe the rights of persons with mental health problems. This international instrument changed the way we understand disability, including psychosocial disability. This important change is referred to as a paradigm shift. A paradigm shift from a biomedical model of disability to the social model emphasizes the importance of social and environmental factors in contributing to disability. This has implications also for how mental health services are designed and delivered with a focus on promoting autonomy, choice and inclusion. This shift in paradigm from a biomedical to a psychosocial approach to mental health concerns us all. The UNCRPD was signed and ratified by the European Union and all its member states, placing an obligation on those responsible to comply with and protect the rights of persons with disabilities. And this includes psychosocial disabilities. National legislation on mental health needs to be more socially and less medically oriented and in line with the UNCRPD to take measures to ensure the full realisation of these rights. A cross-sectorial approach is imperative here for adequate implementation. However, this is not the case yet despite all governments ratifying the Convention. To better understand this, we need to dive deeper into what these different approaches to mental health are and how they impact our abilities to ensure mental health prevention, support for those already experiencing mental health problems or psychosocial disability, through recovery and a human rights based approach and addressing mental health norms and stigma. So in the next module, we will discuss what the biomedical model of mental health is and what this approach encompasses.